Welcome back strategy gamers, let's bring you up to speed on the latest changes to Old World. Update 96 landed this week as the August update. Install it now to get these changes in your game. I'm going to cover the main changes, call out some of the others and there will be a link in the description to the blog post that covers them all. First update though is this, the announcement screen now showing up in game. It's a new announcement panel, use this place to show you updates when you load into the game. On the design side, we have the free worker bonus shifting from the polis technology to the administration technology. Pretty minor change. Will help some nations as polis is two techs in compared to one of administration and a good number of civilizations start with administration like the Babylonians here. Quick redraw ability that we can do with Nebek Nazar, and there is the free worker from the beginning to get going. Bonus for cost reduction for adjacent improvements of the same type has now been tweaked to only give that a bonus for completed improvements. Demonstrated here, the granary will cost 40 wood this turn, and you'll see on the next turn it will be cheaper because the granary adjacent is completed. Completed adjacent now costs 30, not 40 like it did a moment ago. Nice logical fix. Discontent events now have their discontent value doubled. Like the example here, which is now a minus 60 or a plus 60. This cost change could be the difference between pushing a city into a different discontent level and will make that choice a little harder now. Trades blessed and cursed now cancel each other out. This is a logical fix in line with other opposing traits cancelling each other. On the programming side, they call out minor improvements to the AI, which are improvements to the disciples, and AI being more intelligent about succession and reassigning jobs. Always good to see positive tweaks to Forex AIs. Moving on to UI changes. First up, there is a new all improvement option grid this was requested by users as a nice addition you get it here by clicking the icon on the right and it opens up this grid showing all the different buildings the costs the tech requirements and how long it will take to complete next up is a simple one in the nation selection screen the number of ai opponents correctly scales with the map size as default without needing to pop over to the advanced setup to see that. So, dual will be two, and large is five. Nice change. So the event here is one that you will see less frequently going forward. There's a two for change here, decreasing the frequency of these law change events, and instead shifting it to a reminder that you it's possible to change your laws now that you meet the requirements. Another simple, nice quality of life improvement is a right click menu to the portraits for council slots, family heads, religious heads, nation tribes leaders. So here we go, we right click over and we get the interaction option straight away from the screen. Nice change. There are a whole bunch of bug fixes, over 20 lines of fixes here. They're on the screen now, you can pause to read them. A bunch relate to scenario improvements. Others relate to text positioning and the display of text or information as intended. One fix stops the defeated nations appearing in the luxury management panel and another means that the game no longer shows could change succession warning when you have no air. Great to see this raft of changes. So that is update 96 available to play now. Comment down below on which you think is the biggest impact or if any of them upset you. Subscribe here to stay up to date on old world content and as always, happy gaming. Let's get back to extermination.